Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest Mac OS. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Just scroll to the Apple logo. You're going to see your third option where you're going to say your App Store. And then your second option will say System Preferences. Way back, we used to do all our updates under the App Store. At the moment, only apps are updating the App Store. And right now, your system itself will be updated under System Preferences. So we're going to tap on that second option. Once we tap there, we're going to see this system preferences. I'm just going to scroll through and show you just a little bit more zoomed in. You will notice it does in fact say software update down here below on the left hand side. Once we click there, we will see this finally and you will see this. This is the latest Mac OS. We can click on view more and we're going to see this right here. So it is 2.36 gigs, which isn't much. Yes, our Mac will restart. And before making any updates, I always suggest to back up your Mac using Time Machine, but that's a separate video. Which, by the way, Time Machine is something that's already inside your Mac. So it's something pre-installed on all Macs, and it's great. But right now, what we're going to do is just install now. And here we go. It's going to download. So during the download process, if your Mac turns off for any reason, maybe you're updating your MacBook and you run out of battery, it's not a huge deal if it's downloading. It is a big deal when it's installing the updates, when it's doing the restart and all that, then it's a big deal. So make sure your Mac is not going to turn off for any reason. If this is an iMac, Mac mini, anything like that, just make sure not to turn off your Macs and you should be okay. If you would like the download process to go faster, just hook up your Mac directly to your router using ethernet cable. Other than that, the downloading process will only take a few minutes for some of you. Others, this could take an entire day. It does depend on your internet speed. Now, when it comes down to the installation, that's a little bit different. That actually depends on how old your Mac is and which one you've got. So for example, in a Mac M1, the new ones will run a little bit faster than the older Intel ones. Now that's just generally speaking, an Intel one could run faster than M1 depending on how you guys set it up. Other than that, you could leave your Mac at this point in time. It's just gonna restart. We will see an Apple logo a loading bar, and then we're going to be done. So at this point in time, all we can do is just wait. So after we see an Apple logo in a loading bar, it's going to take quite a while. We're looking at about 30 minutes or so, depending again on your Mac. And then everything's just going to restart. We're going to see this, that your updates all done. And that's it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.